and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our beloved No Shot Run. Where we're trying to beat the game on the highest difficulty without shooting a single shot or using a single explosive. You heard that correctly. We are just using swords. We're bringing knives to gunfight and maybe some psionic uh, mind melting powers on top of that. But uh, that's pretty much it. We are ready for the next council mission and this one is important um, because I wouldn't want to lose uh, one of uh, the areas in North America. Removing the Psy operatives and let's take a look who else we can put onto that mission. Got a specialist, a ranger, a ranger and a ranger, so another specialist would make sense. Sue Cougar comes to mind and we're immediately putting him on the job. And Zirkim as a sergeant comes to mind as well. Let's make all of the weapons and utility items available. Go over here. We can take the good old plated vest and the mind shield. He'll be our frontliner. Uh, Zirkim with the stasis vest has worked out quite well the last time, I might say. And what else? We got another stasis vest. Not necessarily seeing that we need them yet. Stasis vests probably for the purpose of this run. Not the strongest choice. I like the plated vest better and hazmat is probably what I am aiming for. Just to get that sweet sweet immunity to all of the environmental effects. Sonar and Sukuger have plenty of healing, that's why the stasis vest is not necessarily needed. But it's not bad. I'll opt for another mind shield just in case we're running into a chosen. And with that, let's jump right into the actual mission. I hope soon that our Archon Autopsy will be done because I am tired of tier 2 swords and we definitely need the upgraded versions. Good, there we go. Dark VIP. Had a difficult mission so that's 4 packs. And we got 12 rounds so it's plenty of time I'm not concerned yet. Looks like hostiles over here. Uh, now I'm starting to get a bit more concerned. Got it covered. Making an aggressive first round move. This is a lot of hit points to go through. Let's see, we got Roby who's probably going to pull these guys. Got it. Hostiles making the rounds. Oh wow, even more. That's another pack right there. Probably going to trigger two packs when we're trying to start running into them. On it. Let's do this. And sonar. Let's place him somewhere sensible. Over here Got for it. now. Might as well use the skull jack in order to extract some info from these guys. And yeah, now they're pretty far away. Now they are pretty far away. Question is do we want to take the high ground and then just get a jump on them? Or do we go through here? All of this is half cover. I don't mind fighting them on low ground, to be honest, because high ground would only be an advantage Understood. to us if we were actually 
starting to um, take a shot at them, but we're not. So in this particular run, I gotta uh, lose the habit of automatically going for high ground. That, <laughs> okay, as an explanation, there are only so many um, actions that you can put into your action bar. Unfortunately, we've reached the absolute maximum. Affirmative. Moving out. Which means someone else needs to open the door. I know, it's crazy, right? Oh, it's not a door. I was entirely wrong. It is a window. Well, Saiken, so much for the plan of, um, of moving up on them. That's not going to happen. Just saw something down here. Potentially another pack. They will move further over here, so this here would be spotted out. This here should not trigger anyone. Yep, like I mentioned, there is another pack right here. Even though that's the case, I would like to move up. This is the one, right? And that's where the dark VIP is located. Fair enough. Moving up all the way to here. Location confirmed. Taking full cover. And yeah, the three on the rooftop are mainly meant to uh, be able to drop down whenever. I would like to keep the momentum uh, on our side because if we can stay concealed for just one more turn, that'd be fantastic due to the ability of just starting with a blade storm um, opener. Now the only question if we're triggering three packs is, what's the biggest advantage that we can get? So two school mines are available over here. Put, try to open this pack, immediately hit the codex, codex runs, takes damage from bladestorm, mutant runs, takes damage from bladestorm, these three go into, um, into hiding. One option. The other option is essentially kill this guy here. Problem that I'm seeing is we do have emplaceable on a Roby, which would mean if we're killing, uh, we can continue to move back, but that means someone ne already needs to be injured. We got quick feet. And Quick Feet technically has a bond partner. And does anyone else have Bladestorm? Diva here has Bladestorm. I think the safest bet is really to like jump down here and pull all of the packs, but essentially get the hit on those two. Surprise, surprise. All right. So that's three packs pulled right off uh, the bat. Codex will run and takes another blade storm attack. Everything ain't 
Ooh, what? The blade storm attack not only was countered, but it was also retaliated upon. Holy shit, that's the first time that it ever happened. Kremlin, get on the heels. That is scary and lecturing at the same time. Why did that happen? Let's think about it. Because I've done that maneuver like a hundred times and it never happened. Okay, so here is potentially why it could have happened. I've never done it from stealth. What could have happened is that that guy essentially was triggered and was in the movement away and the blade storm then did not count as a classical blade storm, but did count as a um, normal attack. That's the, that's the only like plausible explanation that I could give why that was not an immediate hit without a retaliation. I like the abilities to immediately like kill these guys here. Not bad at all. Good, let's begin to soften up this guy because I hate the mutants. Very nice. Just want to make sure that the maneuver that I have planned is actually going to work. That's, it. That's a solid kill. And we're just going to go over here. So he'll take blade storm damage. Problem is, he uh, Divad might not be able to retaliate with blade storm. Hate to say it, but <clears throat> I want to make sure that the mutant dies. So we're re removing the disorientation, although that, that means I can't school check over here. All right, quick beat. Whom are we going to kill? Shield bearer can be school mind next. That shield bearer there mm, probably uses shield ability and will be incredibly annoying to deal with. So we might want to start going and punish this guy. Problem that I'm seeing is we're only three packs in and we might end up pulling even more. Could also pull more if we're sending over here, to be honest, so not 100% sure. I'll trust my instinct, which tells me uh, to take this guy out or at least soften him up. This is going to be our Mimic Beacon. Could combat protocol in order to let the mutant or get the mutant into kill range, which is probably a smart move, to be honest.
Divad has some more blades, uh, more Bladestorm options available. The question that I'm asking myself is if we're positioning him in the open here, is that a smart move? Don't want to fight against the mutant again, so that's a no-no for now. Let's move the Mimic Beacon up over here. That'll trigger all three of them. Mutant will be dealt with. Purifier, I don't want the explosion. It would be nice if we could just stun the Andromedon for one round. Didn't work but we're going to deal some more damage. Not sure why the Andromedon wouldn't go for the Mimic Beacon. It was in clear sight. I double checked. And there we go. Ah, it's another pack and a pretty nasty one. Oh boy, that's going to stink. The specters are going to be a pain to be uh, dealing with them. Unfortunately, he survived. Right the armor. Knock the wind out of me. Okay, so... Let's just be efficient here. Sheep Baron needs to die. That's number one. So far the skull checks worked very well. We had two insta kills. Can either heal either of these two? More teamwork. Mm, okay, good. Let's start uh, with healing the guy with less armor. And Comet Protocol definitely goes to the mutant. Just making sure that we do have sufficient counterplay against him. Alright, so this here should work reasonably well against him. There we go. That's a nice little shield removal. Fair enough. Got ourselves another Mimic Beacon if need be. Or another heal if need be. The Andromedon is probably the most dangerous enemy over here. But also one that requires a lot of uh, damage to get it down. 
Those two we can ignore for now. Same problem here. We're running short on just the DP on, on plain old DPS, right? Okay, focus fire. So you can move in. There will be another blade storm. Divert here, moves over. Can't kill him, but double blade storm should should do the rest. Now nah, I'll, I'll keep teamwork because I want extra damage next round. So in that case, we're pulling a tiny bit back. And I would like to create the Mimic Beacon, like literally over here. That's going to be a round where we're suffering quite a bit uh, damage. That's a melee attack. Oh no, that's an actual hit and a nasty one on top of it. Good, the two biggest damage dealers just take uh, have taken a shot there. Luckily he did not throw a grenade. Double Blade Storm almost killed him, but that guy is still alive. So annoying. And they punch quite hard, if you, uh, as you can see. We will need to counter heal this turn. Shadowbound. Likely Shadowbound. No! Wonderful. He had lightning reflexes, but he did not have ri lightning reflexes times two. And he's now stuck in this unfortunate zone. They do not shadow bound times two. But since he have n has never gotten his shadow bound off, he will probably do a shadow bound. Yeah, I figured that that would be the kind uh, case. <laughs> okay, fantastic. Okay, now witness the strength of the support classes. As we're reviving and counter healing, that worked well. And just for the record, another uh, another bit of healing. Seven to nine, that's too much to kill this guy. Two, four, no, too much to kill this guy as well. So that's a kill and we will have Inplaceable afterwards. It's dead. It has to be dead. That removes all of the shields. Super helpful. Okay, we got one more Mimic Beacon, uh, which we're definitely going to use with Divert. Divert has Bladestorm though, and we're also going to use that pretty definitively. Move into here, just so that Bladestorm will trigger afterwards. Okay. 
That's great. A lot of damage potential taken out. Just due to the stun. And we don't need... Maybe we don't um, actually need the Mimic Beacon. We're going to see in a bit. Trying to maximize damage now. Zirkim is not going to stand in here, although it would be fantastic to kill these guys. No, we're, we require a Mimic Beacon, that's for sure. There we go, Officer, pretty injured extra move to here so that the officer essentially will take multiple hits and how about replacing the mimic beacon over there that way there is a high chance that enemies will move closer and take overwatch shots these guys are almost down and will be stunned. And now the Blade Storm cluster. That's a bit of a problem if you're if you're clustered up, but it is what it is. Oh boy, we're getting a we're being surfed. Forward. No. Taking shots. And luckily their shots aren't super strong. So Cooper took some damage, Givert has some damage, Zirkim has some damage. Oh boy. Good, let's start, Divert. Is killing one of the specters Big deal. implaceable to drop him right over here over just in case uh, that guy awakes again quick feet does what his name uh, implies. Rushes over here. Kill confirmed. And that's a two for one. Fantastic. Moving over to deal with the Codex. Shortly afterwards, our combat protocol finishes that guy. We're handing over the teamwork, which was the whole reason for doing it in the first place. And let's finish the other codex. Good. So we're down to one lousy Andromedon. That armor indeed is tough. So much so that when it awakes, I will need two blade storms in order to like crush it down. There we go. It's back. 
Fate Storm. There we go. Alright, we're down to six uh, rounds, but we're doing a fairly... I'm fairly optimistic, actually, that we're doing a decent job to get these guys down. Yeah, the biggest problem is we wouldn't really, with our setup and the strategy, we wouldn't really be able to, like, separately pull uh, pull these guys. It just wouldn't have worked. Good, we're healing everyone up. Moving over there. That way, Maximilian Richter can take this guy next turn. And I would like to conceal right, yeah. Roby. And move him over there. Good. No more enemies. In. We could create a hack over here. Yeah, that's a fantastic buff that we definitely won't need. Good. Quick feed Good go. rushes over. Zirkum rushes Coming over. Up. Sukuga rushes over. Diva rushes over. Just want to make sure Solid copy. that we're being okay. Problem here is I hope that guy will not run away because Bladestorm also triggers four dark VIPs. Would have been an absolute nightmare to lose that VIP. In custody. Just because Roby wanted to slice Clear. something. No need to ask twice. It would have gotten into his performance report for sure. And he would have gotten the trade compulsive slicer. Okay, I'll go. Periodically tries to slice open well important NPCs like the VIP. Yeah, okay, good. Reinforcements. I don't think that we want to meddle with more reinforcements. I got the feel that we overall had a pretty solid run and we should leave it with that. Wonderful. Okay, well, that was a tougher than expected mission, to be honest. And we we took a beating, but we could counter heal most of it. It was pretty much a brawl, just like every single time on in this campaign. It feels Furic victory after Furic victory, just brawl after brawl. Good, justice has been delivered, but at what cost? Well, actually at a pretty moderate cost seeing that no one is going to be out for longer than 10 days. We got another lieutenant, which is great. And we got some bond leveling up uh, that's available, which is even better. Hello, Commander. Fantastic. Got ourselves some intel. And I know exactly what I want to buy. Templar mentally awake. Yes, thank you. Great. Love it. Making Hogbite just a tiny bit stronger. An additional scientist, that's cool. But 
let's invest some time to finish the uh, the improved income, and then we'll get the scientist. Our research was a success. Fantastic. Good. It certainly is impressive looking. If nothing we else. got a nice little upgrade here. Fusion sure blades will be design. very welcome for us. We're okay on Intel. We don't need that at this point. Yeah, I think we're just going to continue with the loss real quick. Known as the assassin. Seems to mirror the incoming message for you, Commander. Patching Ooh, it through your Very nice. Now. It is unfortunate, Commander, that your recent efforts have proven to be so mediocre. The elders have blessed me. Good. We gotta so deal with her. Like right now. And overwatch shots will always mid miss advent troopers. That's not good, but not as bad as it uh, seems. In terms of instant contact, that is important. This is good. That's good as well. Yeah, I don't need anything else really. You are the boss. So, how fast can we infiltrate the chosen? Few more days wounded. Many of our soldiers are gravely wounded. Let's finish this again. I have made a number of interesting discoveries. And then Commander. we will need to continue healing. Yeah, should we even go for that? I mean we don't really need the plasma weapons. No point in doing it, but we also don't need the rest. Uh, the only difference is we don't have unlimited Illyrium here, right? Might as well continue with the research that is sort of sensible for us. I'm very, very conscious of the chosen. And the Avatar pro uh, project the in that matter. If we're going to slow them down, we'll need to move fast. Maximum power consumption reached. Good. We really do not have much that we can build down here anymore. Which is a bit of a shame. Can definitely place one of our uh, engineers in here. Want to speed up the shadow chamber a bit. Yeah, and we could further upgrade that. Power consumption reached. I really don't see anything else that we would need. We can leave it open. No point in pondering about it uh, the entire time okay that is all of this here is fine uh, it's not going to make or break the run what is going to be important is when the assassin is going to take us in uh, there is a chance that she can do that every single day so we got to be really really careful don't want to be shot down commander if we want to set back the aliens work on the avatar project we should hit one of their facilities as soon as possible. Good. We have five more days in order to do the sabotage run. Commander, I appreciate you recruiting new staff for the But I think we will need to actually go and uh, take out the facility. We can put lightly wounded troops into it, which means one, two, three, four. Yeah, we can. We can field an entire squad. Um, 
So, first things first, our next mission before even thinking about the Chosen is to reduce the Doom Clock. And that will have priority. The Berserker Queen is here, so that's gonna be fun. Absolute fantastic to deal with her. Unfortunately, Hogbite is still wounded and not lightly wounded, which I think means he cannot be sent onto the mission. I might be wrong. Not sure. Uh, we... I am considering maybe to put... both of the Psy operatives on this mission, because Stasis locking her is pretty damn good ability. She can't really do anything about it. That's a pretty, pretty good ability. So maybe that's the right way of dealing with her. Alternatively, it's again melee madness. Everybody charges in and just takes her down. I'll think about something and also figure out how to um, beat the Chosen. Because that's going to be an issue. And before anyone um, mourns in the comments that we do have an unstaffed engineer. That is true. We don't have much to do at the moment. Let's put that engineer uh, to here. And we got 13 contacts. Fantastic. Wonderful. I have 200 supplies. Can we build something that Just would be helpful? Started, Haven't gotten another mimic beacon. Yeah, probably the fusion blade upgrade is the most important item. Yeah, not even a question. The fusion axe isn't bad either, but we don't have the supplies now. We will get it a bit uh, later. The advanced Psy amp is also not bad. Would we need sectoid corpses? And I think we're now in the month where Sectopods can actually appear. So that weapon upgrade was just needed. Now we just have to make all those people in the colonies yeah. remember what we're fighting. I think overall it's fine, guys. We're My still on our way. I'm a bit concerned about the assassin, so that needs to be taken care of. But uh, the rest is good. If you like close calls and uh, pretty difficult missions like this, Feel free to leave a comment uh, below and a like for the video and then see you in the next run. Bye bye guys.